kind of just turned on and how would they want to have uh, I mean, it was still good basketball. You know, we were still competing at our level. Um, and guys were with some really good stuff that we could take from them and build off of. A lot of things we got to correct. But uh, for the most part, we love what we are. I know I, don't, I wouldn't want to be a coach because he has a tough job of figuring out these rotations because there's a lot of good versatility on our team. Well, we see you and Devin and Kevin as well. That's a – Coach yeah, that's a coach question. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but just looking at it, though, just really quick in terms of when Josh, when Josh was two stars that were out there, and then, uh, what you see in those two? I mean, uh, we love Nurk aggressiveness. You know, biggest things we want him to attack Yoke, just bunch of spots to make him feel his presence, make his presence known. And J.O., you know, he's always. Sometimes I got to try to dial him back, you know, because he's always going to be energetic, riled up, ready to go, locked in. So, uh, you know, you're happy that you have guys like that on your team who are just straight dogs. It's been the biggest adjustment kind of learning Frank Vogel's defense and what he likes to do on that. Uh, I mean, it's not too much different than what, I mean, we've all seen and grown over the years. I think everybody kind of has a similar concepts. Terminology is a little bit different. So I think just getting the, the vocab and getting the communication portion down is – is uh is probably the most critical piece, but you know for the most part it's a it's a really good group of guys who are able to you know receive information very relatively quickly, and we can just apply it versus having to stop practice, break down, and kind of develop the whole situation. So, uh, I think he just does a great job of actually just getting his point across, teaching, and kind of showing us what he wants, and we just have to go out there and kind of get it done. With that, something Josh talked about last night was that he knows what he's supposed to do out there, but sometimes the instinct just isn't there at this point in the season. What's that like as a player when you change a coach or a team and you try and get it from the knowledge base to instinctually performing and to not lose that half second? No, uh, I mean, there's there's going to be some differences. I mean, coach is going to have some things and some philosophies that he's going to want us to do. And and uh, uh, us, you know, kind of being in different situations, having previous coaches, you know, it's always going to be an adaptation. Uh, situation and kind of like a refreshing of your mind and kind of being open-minded to what's uh, kind of get rid of, I don't want to say bad habits, but kind of get rid of what you used to do and kind of adapt to what uh, coaches new new thing is. So, I mean, it, it'll be a work in progress, but I think the thing we love the most is that if we do make mistakes, they're aggressive 100%, you know, going all out mistakes and they're not lackadaisical or a soft per se. Right, we could be seeing you minutes about sharing stuff. What is the motivation behind that and two with a new home here? Is that something you probably partake in and do this right? Uh it's definitely something I want to partake in here. Uh definitely continue to do my research here and get get way, way, way more familiar with uh the city and just things I want to do and uh different charitable things that I can contribute to. It, it's I've kind of always been been like that. I've grown up, my parents have raised me like that of just always understanding that there was people who are less fortunate than you. Um, understanding that my impact whether it's a, you know, a visit or a uh, high or FaceTime, or whatever it is like that can impact somebody's day significantly um, time with other people, you know? So just understanding that, you know, we're all human beings. We're all, you know, we all have the same fight one way or another. Uh, but, you know, I think it's tough because us as athletes, us as celebrities kind of put on this pedestal of, um, you know, being a mentor, being, you know, my favorite celebrity, my favorite athlete or whatever. And we kind of have this entitlement of, having to give back but i think it is in a way you know it's, it's an obligation some somewhat you know because we worked extremely hard to where we get to get to where we are but we had help along the way we didn't do it by ourselves and we all respectively came from somewhere not as great as where we are now you know so i think it's just remembering that and just trying to pay it forward as best you can Brad, can you talk about um your bond with katie and book how's your guys' relationship growing what things are you connecting on just early on and, and building that i uh, mean we're just we are just three laid back guys you know we're very competitive we love the game of basketball uh got a lot of things in common we love to just just hang out man it's, it's been a really good bond I and mean, we've all known each other previously before this but uh just to be here every day and just to get that 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 experience on a daily is it's surreal in some ways for sure uh but I mean, it's a it's an ongoing development for sure. It's been it's been nothing but a smooth transition. Brother, I just want to ask you guys this is a facility, so to speak. <laughs> so <laughs> it was practice in there. Was, was did you guys walk in and they, they were already in there waiting, or were you guys already in there and then all the people? No, they were working. So 
Not don't play around. You got he had some people in there working, doing their job, you know. And we came and got a nice tour of his uh his immaculate facility, um uh, immaculate campus, I would say. And then uh we got a nice practice in at a, at a nice gym he had at his facility. So it was it was a cool experience for sure. You know, he definitely got a lot of money. But that's it's definitely cool to see uh roughly I think seven thousand people just at at it. You know, that that was cool to see. What do you think about uh, the guys stepping up in different ball games? You know, start racing out at seven, six, six race. So, what does that say about this team having multiple games? Uh, we're unselfish. I think that's the that's number one. You know, I don't think uh, anybody's out to be like, oh, this is my show, this is my thing. Like, we all we play off of each other, and we we get energy of seeing other guys succeed and seeing guys, you know, um, have fun with this game. And so it's it's. It doesn't surprise me to see that from G. It doesn't surprise me to see it from anybody, you know, because we have that that kind of mindset that it's a, I mean, it's an open ball handling group. You know, it's not just one guy to play the point. It's not just one get one guy to ball initiate the offense. Like we're all capable. We all have to know multiple spots. Uh, so it's a it's a good thing. Speaking of normal spots, you're the ball handling. When you're the ball handling, role, what are you looking for in the people to make your next decision with the player time? Uh, well, the first thing is if they can always stop me because we all we all scorers first. So the biggest thing is our aggressiveness and our ability to put pressure on on the rim and the defender. If he's not going to stop us, we have green lights to score the ball in whatever facet we see fit. Uh, and obviously, it's just being smart, just understanding reading defenses. If they want to pack the paint, you understand we have great shooters and just make the simple play. I think our offense is set up to where the play will be kind of right in front of you to see, you know, who's open and that's going to be the best shot available for us. What's the field been like in court with Brooklyn JD? Natural. Natural. Like, it's just playing basketball. You know, it's not anything significantly different. I mean, obviously, it's playing with two other guys who score the hell out of the ball, but it's, to me, it's just playing fun basketball. It's no different than what I'm, I've, I've been preparing myself for and wanting, so. How does it your family comes to the first home game? Some players uh, my sons didn't like I didn't play, so that was, I dealt with that all night. Uh, but it was, they loved it. They loved the energy. I mean, it was a packed arena for the uh, first preseason game. So that was definitely ecstatic to see, like, what we can, what we can do, like, how the crowd will be on a nightly basis. So uh, my boys loved it. My wife loved it. Everybody loved it. Uh, it'll be awesome year for them, for sure. Yeah, I got plenty. <laughs>